Okay, we're going to call a special meeting of April 4th, 2024 to order. Madam Clerk, pledge please. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call. Councilman Asbill is absent. Councilman Buddy. Present. Councilman Chatelaine. Present. Councilman Johnston. Present. Councilman Ricks. Present. Mayor Bodier. Present. Police Chief Lapreze absent. Fire Chief St. Sears absent. Finance Director Todd Turnion. Present. City Attorney Scott Stansberry. Present. Myself, Carrie Houston's clerk is present. Resolutions. Proposed Resolution 2024-6. A resolution of the City Council of the City of Harahan authorizing the mayor to enter into an agreement with Linfield Hunter and Junius Incorporated for emergency sewer collection and treatment system overhaul. Okay, we are now open for discussion. Anyone, anybody want to come speak forward on uh, proposed resolution 2024-6? No one coming forward will now close public hearing council discussion. Mr. Well, Tom, would you like to start? I just have one question. The, the proposal we just, we just got, it says $800,000 is gonna cost for the study, where we get the money? Is that from Auburn or where we get that money from? This money came from the state. State from allocated the state the allocated five thousand dollars. How much? No, that's Four. not to pay him. Yeah, I mean, you got six million six in total. What the project's going to cost? And the state's got what five million. Four million seven hundred five, and the other twenty five percent match of twenty five percent match of it comes. We're going to be a, we're going to be over a million six out of pocket. Okay. So so. We got that. That's state money we got for that. Correct. Okay. Yeah. And we will match it with all right. You are correcting yourself. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I uh, had an opportunity. Uh, did you close the public? I did. Yesterday, I'm sorry. The day before yesterday to, to meet with Nathan and another engineer from his firm, Robert. Um, uh, Brian Wallace made it. Uh, he was running late. Um, and there are some issues that need to be cleaned up in the contract. Plus, um, there was some confusion as to what this was gonna cost us. And, and this is gonna be a $6.6 .6 million project, um, including the engineering fees. Um, of their $800,000, roughly 800,460 estimated, 449,000 is guaranteed to them. Uh, for their uh, design work, and the remainder, which is about 350000 is uh, for things they call supplemental, but we're going to need them, which is topogra topographical survey, geotech, which would be the soil borings so to figure out what the soil is, uh, coordination with other agencies, um, state, EPA, whoever. Uh, permitting, so helping us get permits, and the important one of uh, 182,000 uh, estimate for resident inspection. So there'll be somebody out there actually uh, measuring the quantities as they go down. Um, so anyway, we talked a day before yesterday about uh, some changes. Uh, there were some typos in here, and um, today, uh, Robert sent me a copy of the contract in Word um, and a copy of the rate sheet for the, because uh, we didn't have a rate sheet here for any supplemental work, the 400,000 of supplemental work. Uh, so I got that today, but I haven't had a chance to do anything with it. I'm going to make a few changes. Got to go back to them. Got to go to the mayor. Uh, make sure everybody's on board. So we're just not in a position to do anything with it may, tonight. May I ask you a quick question? Yes, sir. So the supplemental services cost here 267 through 271. These line items are what you're referring to? Yeah. Okay. So in that in that document up here, uh, payments. This is this six hundred ninety nine. Got to go to eight hundred and some change. Eight hundred thousand. Um, there's another three hundred something thousand in here uh, up here. Yeah, there's something. It's up. Anyway, there's a couple of typos, mm. and there's a, a missing attachment. Uh, and it is there was some question in my mind as to the scope of work, and and what we've determined, and what what's been made clear is it's Wilson Street only. There's no work between uh, 
lift station six and lift station eight. Um, so it's gonna it's gonna be a a uh, concrete uh, paved street, um, which currently it's blacktop this section. So it'll look like the earlier uh, repair on Wilson. And there is in that five point I'm sorry six point eight million dollars. There is about I, I didn't run a number on it, but there's about six to eight hundred thousand dollars that is replacing water lines. So, you know, it behoove us to have a meeting. If Mayor, if you want to arrange it, I'll be happy to attend or whoever, but we need to see if we can get the parish to kick in and at least pay for the water line repair. We will tear the street up, we'll put it down, we'll pay for the kind get them if we can get them to pay for the water lines, we might be able to figure out how to use that money for a match. Mm -hmm. um, but that's a, that's a lot of money that the engineers have assumed the city was going to do while we got the streets up, yeah, which would, is the time to do it. I would imagine the parish don't want us touching that water lines. They wouldn't want to come out and do it themselves anyway. And it's easy. That's an easy ask. And, 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 and maybe, maybe we just <clears throat> coordinate that they do the water lines. Yeah, it's an easy ask. So we take it out of our estimate of construction. Are there any other public services under that street other than the water? Yes. Uh, sewer, sewer, water, and uh, I don't know if there's gas. There probably is. They got a gas line for it. I mean, I'm, I guess there's gas service. We uh, may want, I don't we may want to just have them come out and inspect their, yep. their they lines will. as well. Like Before that. we touch anything, it yeah. has to come out and dotty everything to where we know. Yeah, and I don't know if the are. gas lines are in, you know, in the servitude closer to the houses or so right under the street. Yeah. Where? Another thing we spoke of, I mean, if it's concrete, is there a way we could save and go with blacktop? <coughs> Might save but half I do know the state approved this plan already. Right. So that's the question. If you go start changing stuff, do you need to go back for state approval? Every time. So. But well, why would we go to blacktop? Yeah. It's blacktop now. No, yeah. no, but why would we go Well, you might save a half a million dollars. Yeah. I'm now, uh, we'd only save 25% mm -hmm. of that. In the long haul, though? You'd be patching. You're better with blacktop. I mean, you're better with concrete. Yeah, we all agree. Saying. And we're only going to save 25% of any Correct. savings. So just, we're still all, all I'm saying is. Concrete's better. Yeah. I, I'd rather see it concrete. I mean, no, I know it's an expense now, but it's a, not an expense we'll have to keep incurring down the line. Absolutely. Correct. Concrete's going to outlast black top. Especially because that down. Wilson Street sits on, we've done uh, extensive studies on the soil under Wilson Street. It sits on a river silt sandbar. Right. And no matter what we do to the infrastructure, that, that road is going to still continue. You, you don't blacktop it. I mean, you blacktop it, you're going to continue to see problem after problem. You need to concrete it. Concrete's going to last hands down. Yeah, it's as, long, as long as the soil's prepped properly underneath it, it'll it's, last you, for it's 30, hard to, 40 years. It's hard to prep that. If a concrete, yes. Yeah. But it's hard to prep it for blacktop. Yeah. It's I think Wilson is concrete from Colonial Club to Sony. Sony, yeah, correct. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So if we continue from Sony at to Oak. Mm -hmm. I mean, if we're gonna, it, it, I'm just saying, if we're doing some permanent fixes, let's make it right. That's the right way to go. Done. I know it's half million dollars here, but if we spend blacktop two hundred thousand, and yeah. you know, come back five years from now and have to spend another fifty okay. grand, you know, I mean, and, it's just, and again, Mike, it's twenty five percent out of our pocket is twenty five. Twenty five percent. I mean, while we got the okay. funding and we're doing it, and it's fresh and it's already know. approved. Right, that's what I'm saying. Yep. While we're yep. while we're down the dirt, I just wanted us to all know yeah. what we're looking at. And the reason the cost is higher. Yeah. So, Mr. Tom, you want to defer to the regularly scheduled April meeting? Uh, yeah, what is the regular, what's the date of the regular meeting? 18? We sh assuming we should be able to be ready by then. But yeah, I definitely, I, I don't think we're in a position to, to uh, approve it tonight. Okay, so we have a motion by Mr. T Mr. Uh, Councilman Buddy to defer proposed resolution 2024-6 will now be for public hearing. No one coming forth. Do we have a second? A second. Second by Councilman Ricks. All in favor? Yeah. Yay. Four yeas, one absence. Madam Clerk, this proposed ordinance 2024 6 is deferred till April 18th, regularly scheduled council meeting. Ordinances for approval proposed ordinance number 2024 6, an ordinance declaring a public emergency in connection with an emergency repair 
of the city's antiquated sewer collection system and ratifying an additional expenditure estimated to be approximately $161,062 of capital funds and to otherwise provide with respect thereto. Okay, <laughs> now for anyone wanting to speak on proposed ordinance number 2024-6, no one coming forward now. Close public hearing council discussion. Um, th there's a sense of urgency for this. If you could just yeah, they're firing up this equipment tomorrow morning. They're looking. They want. They want to be paid. That's all. Now, what is this? This is the. This is for the the dewatering system at the plant now. Right. The so this is the one that's going to save us ten th over ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand a month. 10, 15, yeah. Month. Yeah. Right. Yep. And 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 removals. Yes, sir. Yes. Absolutely. Is there a, a possibility of this counting as a match? To use that's what we're working state on. Funds. That was the reason why we was being so. That's why we were trying to push the uh, the, the the previous ordinance you deferred through to yep. try to make this count as a match. And because part of the plant upgrade is in that is in that grant money, and uh, and so we wanted to try to. We're still gonna yes. Answers we're gonna yes. ask for it. Yes, we're gonna work yeah. everything we got to make this okay. part of the match. But I mean, even if it'll be the total though, we're not just doing a 161. We're going after the whole 565. We're going after that well, whole the, project. The budget, the budget, the budget, the uh, engineer's budget is a million dollars, no, just north of a million dollars for the plant. For the plant, right? Yep. And it, so that's you know, we had discussed it, it broadly um, a half a million. Uh, but they've got an estimate in here of $1,050,000 toward the bottom of their uh, detailed estimate. And we think keeping it in matching funds, the state will be more amicable to allowing it? Well, actually, they've got uh, almost $180 million. I mean, $1,105,000 uh, or something like that. It's a lot of money. Somewhere between a, a million one and a million two. For the plant, and again, that's just construction. That's they're, they're, one of the reasons their engineering has to go up from the proposal we had from 389 is to force something. Is because they threw in uh, at the state's request the uh, plant work. Yes, sir. Originally, it was just going to be the street work, so that there's engineering on top of that. Yes, sir. And inspection. Yep. Right. So, so it's deferred. If we could approve this one tonight, this would be a, a great step forward. <laughs> Make a motion to move on. Okay, we have a motion by second. Councilman Asbill, second by Councilman Riggs to approve proposed Asbel. ordinance number Chattling. 20. I'm sorry, Councilman Chatterley. To, to approve proposed ordinance 2024-6. We have a motion by Councilman Chatterley and second by Councilman Riggs, just for the record. So, Thank you. Okay, all in favor? Yes. Yeah. Four yeas, one absence. Madam Clerk, it is approved. Okay, proposed ordinance 2024 10. The following ordinance was proposed by Councilman Chatelaine and seconded by Councilman Bricks. An ordinance authorizing the City of Harahan to meet state requirements for capital outlay funding for the purpose of emergency sewer collection and treatment system overhaul planning and construction. Uh -oh. I didn't get it, yeah. Okay, anyone want to speak on proposed orders number 2024-10? Please come forward, no one coming forward, but now close it. Public hearing, council discussion. And again, this is us filing a declaration of emergency to put this piece of equipment in place, which actually open, which actually really helps our case on being able to use the previous money plus the entire cost of that dewatering system to go in as the match in the um, application to the grant money for the sewer system. And we've, we've now completed all the state compliance for everything we oh, were talking mm -hmm. about, all the approvals? Yes, yes, we have. Okay. But because we, well, it's a, yeah, as I, a, I know. we're I, walking I a it. fine line here. I, I know, you get it. I just <laughs> want to be sure we got. Yeah, uh, we're walking sounds, a fine line on this one. We're borderline yeah. not following right. the but, DEQ. Guidelines. By following that declaration of emergency, it gives us the ability to come back and say, guys, we've been talking about this for over a year now. This award money was awarded over a year ago. We got put into a spot with a, a, a torrential downpour, another one that we've been having. We, we needed to follow this declaration of emergency to put in a stamp of importance on. We needed this money a year ago, and we right. still haven't been able to draw down on it yet because of, you know, guidelines. Right. But it, it, certainly, it certainly helps a lot. 
Is it, the, is it the answer? I don't know, but we're taking a shot at it. Okay. On proposed, we have a motion by Councilman Riggs um, on proposed ordinance number 2024 10. We have a second by Councilman Chatelaine. All in favor? Yay. Yay. Four yeas, one absence. Madam Clerk. Address the Council. All right. Anyone want to address the Council? We're now for public hearing. No one coming forth. We'll now close address the Council. No executive session. Adjourn. We have a motion to adjourn by Councilman Rick, second by Councilman Chatelaine. All in favor? Yeah, yeah. Four yeas, one absent. We are adjourned.